The next thing that's gonna control the club face angle and all those other good things is your ability to twist the grip and the club face. Now, I see this both on the way back and on the way down equally as much. You could twist this grip in a couple different forms. So here's me with the grip in the club. And if I'm taking that grip and I'm twisting it counterclockwise, see what that does to the club face. The toe gets in front of the heel. Now, if I looked at it from this angle, that would close the club face. Here's a square club face. Leading edge is the same as my spine. Here's close. So if I take the grip and we twist it closed, twist it counterclockwise, that closes the club face. I wanna to talk to you today about Live View Golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to core the differences between your feels and your reels. Live View is super easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code. Hey guys, Eric here out at the Bethlehem Golf Club. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to twist the grip. Now we'll get into that. What do I mean by that? How does it affect things in your golf swing and why you might wanna add this to your swing? Please make sure, if you guys do like this video, click that great thumbs up button. Really helps out our channel. Would appreciate that. Click the subscribe if you're new here and haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let's keep the conversations going. So twisting the grip. Okay, guys, here's what I see all the time. And I see this at our members when they send in their swings. I see this as I've been coaching in person for the past 14, 15 years, which is the absolute biggest thing that causes all of the flaws later on in the swing is a club face that's not closed enough. So I was talking to Travis Fulton not long ago. We were down in Jacksonville Beach. And he said, hey, Eric, can you post something? If you took someone at the top of their swing and you had a club face that looked like this, which was more closed, right, at the top. He said, you take two twins, one person more closed at the top and the next person more open at the top. And you tell them nothing else. You just go let them golf and build their swings. The person who had the closed club face at the top versus the person who had an open club face at the top, the rest of their swings would look wildly different. And the person with the closed face at the top has way better chance of having all the good things in their swing that we like during the downswing. Shallowing the club, good body rotation and pivot, good tilts, no early extension, good swing path, all shaft lean, right, compression, all those things we all want start with the club face angle. Now, it can't be skipped the fact that the grip's very important, right? Just as much as I talk about this, like I mentioned, um, I talk about grips just as much. So please make sure, just with your lead hand, if we check out a snuff box here, right? So let's bring this up here and see if we can see. This little snuff box on my hand, where this sits right here. Hopefully, can we see that in there in the camera? So where that sits right there. Can we see that there? So here's where my snuff box sits, this little part of my wrist here. Now, where this sits relative to the club, this part right here, is very important to you being able to square the club face. Just make sure that little snuff box sits on the right side of the shaft. On the right, here's the middle of the shaft. Can we see that okay? Here's the snuff box on the right side of it. So from here normal, here's the middle of the shaft. Here's my little snuff box on the right hand side of it. If your snuff box is on the left side of the grip, your club face is almost always gonna be too open. So that's a huge caveat that I just can't skip over before we talk about twisting the grip. Now assuming, assuming that you have that grip on there good, the next thing that's gonna control the club face angle and all those other good things is your ability to twist the grip and the club face. Now, I see this both on the way back and on the way down equally as much. You could twist this grip in a couple different forms. So here's me with the grip and the club. And if I'm taking that grip and I'm twisting it counterclockwise, see what that does to the club face. The toe gets in front of the heel. Now, if I looked at it from this angle, that would close the club face. Here's a square club face. Leading edge is the same as my spine. Here's close. So if I take the grip and we twist it closed, twist it counterclockwise, that closes the club face. 
Now, if I take the grip and I twist it clockwise, that opens the face, the toe behind the heel. Here we can obviously see that that's open. So I see a lot of players who twist the club clockwise, not on purpose, not on purpose. It feels normal often. They twist it clockwise either on the way back, so the toe gets behind the heel, or they do it late backswing, so again, the toe's behind the heel, or, and I see this equally as much, they're good at the top, and they twist it to start down. So they're twisting it clockwise, the toe behind the heel. And any time that toe gets behind the heel, again, you want to see the toe on top of the heel. Here's square, toe on top of the heel, same line as my spine line. Here's square. Toe slightly in front of the heel would be cool too. It'd be slightly closed, promotes a lot of good things. Toe behind the heel, bad news. So whether you're the golfer, and you, and you, yeah, you know, you gotta check on video to know if you're doing this for sure, but signs that your toe is behind the heel would be weak contact, hitting the ball shorter than normal, hitting it to the right for a right-handed golfer or left for a left-handed golfer, and probably slicing the longer clubs. Probably get some pulls with the shorter ones, but then slice the longer ones. So what I would like you to do is to learn to twist the club counterclockwise at any or all points in the swing. Some people would say, hey Eric, wouldn't it be easier if I just got the club face more square to the top so I don't have to do any work coming down? Yeah, for some people I think that is easier. You can certainly twist it during the takeaway, twist it from there to the top, or twist it coming down, or do all the above, and I would do it based on your ball flight pattern. So if you make a normal swing, again, it's weak contact short and to the right for a righty, heck, I would twist to the point where I hit it really solid and hit some to the left, even some pull hooks, right? Because of course you can find middle then. So when to twist it, again, let's say we do the first option, and we say, hey, I want to twist it early. So I'm going to feel like I'm twisting the club, this golf pride, towards the target during my takeaway. It's counterclockwise, so the toe's in front of the heel. So if I look at it during my takeaway, I'm going to feel like the toe is slightly in front of the heel there. And I can just hit a couple like that and start to see, right, the simple version, see what goes on with my ball flight. So I'm going to twist it closed early on. And I'm just going to start to see what happens to my ball flight pattern compared to normal. Now, let's say, hey, I really don't like that feel during my takeaway. That's fine. You can feel it during the later parts of your backswing, right? We did some twist away videos. I can start to feel it from my, like, I don't personally like the takeaway feel. So I would keep the takeaway a little more neutral. And then for me, I like to twist it when I start down. But let's say you want to twist it back. You go here, start to twist the club counterclockwise. Isn't that manipulating the club, Eric? Well, yeah, it's manipulating it, but you're already manipulating it the wrong way. You're taking it too far this way. It just doesn't feel like you're manipulating it. You get the difference there? You're already manipulating it open. So all I'm doing is having you manipulate it back to square. The thing is, when you do it and it goes open, it feels normal. So it doesn't feel like you're consciously, manually using your arms and hands. Of course you are. Of course you are. You're just doing it the wrong way, right? So manipulating it is not an issue. You gotta manipulate it the correct way, right? So the second option is from the takeaway to the top. I can feel, I'm gonna, again, twist it counterclockwise. I don't like this feel either for me. I like the downswing, but some players I work with really like this. So late backswing from here to the top, I'm gonna twist it here. So it feels like the, the club face points more towards the camera behind me. And again, that would close the face relative to normal. And so, and I hit that perfectly solid, like that's fine. I could perfectly do it. Now that was probably a little closer than normal. I hit like an eight yard pull hook. So my normal current feels, guys, when I'm swinging normal, American attest tested, I'm hitting the ball really straight right now. So it's just kind of like a one yard draw. So my club face is already good to go. I don't need to add the twist away. But if you are hitting it weak and right, you have to do something to change that. So that's the, the backswing part, or we can do the downswing part. This is my personal favorite. This is probably my recommended way. I do not think you feel in this to start down is any added timing, manipulation, whatever words. I think it's perfectly acceptable. Again, if you hit it the bad way, you must do something. You must do something. It's not going to change by itself. Up to the top, I'm twisting it counterclockwise. So I'm twisting it feeling like the toe's in front of the heel. Now, big key here, I'm twisting the toe in front of the heel, but I'm keeping the club head inside my hands. So here's my toe line. That wasn't very good. Let's say there's my toe line. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. 
I want to make sure that as I start my downswing, I twist the club counterclockwise. The club head is on or inside three o'clock. So it's on or inside my hands. And it's on or inside my hands so that it's inside my hands here. So said differently, it's behind my hands to the right of my hands so that here it's behind my hands to the right of my hands, shaft lean, right? Here's it in front of my hands, bad. In front of my hands, bad, behind my hands. So when you're twisting it, don't do this. It's not what I said, not out here, not two o'clock. Twist it, but keep it inside your hands here, like this. So this is the option that I would personally like to do. I'm twisting it counterclockwise, and I'm keeping the club inside my toe line here. Boom, right like that. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I'm, again, I'm someone who, and that's just a slight overdraw for me, that's probably 30 feet to the left because it's exaggerated. Now that shows me, and what that would say to you, for, uh, if I was hitting balls like that, my club face is already either A, good to go, so I don't need to do that more, or B, and here's what can happen to some of you guys, let's say you have a door, and I open a door normally a lot, 80 degrees during my backswing. That means I have to close the door 80 degrees just to get to zero. So if I open a door a lot, I have to close the door a lot. Same thing with your club face. Normally, if either on the way back or on the way down, I open the face a lot, that means that you have to close it a lot to get to zero. So some quick math. I normally open it 80, I close it 80. Now let's say I do the twist away. I only open it 40, made up number. I only open it 40. But now I still close it 80. Now what's gonna happen? The face is too close, I'm gonna hit pull hooks. What's the solution? I can either go back to opening it a lot to 80, I wouldn't do that, I'd still only open at 40, but now instead of closing at 80 through impact with your release, I would only close at 40. Now if I normally close at 80 and I wanna close at 40, it's gonna feel like I'm closing it a lot less. So basically what I'm saying for you, if you do the twist swing and hit pull hooks, is keep doing the twist away, but then you don't need to twist it as much or throw it as much through impact. You can take a little bit of the timing piece out of your, the impact, right? So I can twist it earlier and then feel like it doesn't have to rotate through impact as much. The more you twist it closed, the earlier in your swing, the less you have to do it through impact. So like I just made that adjustment there and that ball now is perfect. It only drew one yard. I saw in the one previously it overdrew. I have the option either twist it less early or, or twist it less through impact. I chose twist it less through impact. I'm going to twist it here and then keep it more neutral. So if you're hitting those shots, don't keep hitting those shots. Twist the club. I would use video feedback. If you're not, you can use it based on your ball pattern. If you're a right-handed golfer and the ball's going short, weak, and to the right, you can be assured you're not twisting it enough, not even close to enough. How do I know I've twisted it too much? The ball's low and pull hooking, but solid. At that point, I can either twist it less or I can change my release pattern so I don't have as much timing involved there. That's how you twist the grip. I think it's one of the most important fundamentals of a good golf swing. If your club face is too open, you're gonna have steep shafts, early extension. You're gonna struggle to fix anything later on. It's the king or queen of the hill. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, click that gray like button down below. Really helps us out. We're gonna put a card on the screen for the twist away, the original twist away, the OG video we did on this. We'll put that on there. We'll also put kagornogolf.com. We'd love to work with you there.